you guys. Uh, the reason for my ugly outfit, I look like I work, work at like a candy factory. But I am actually at work. I work at Warner Brothers Studio Lot. And um, here is the studio. I work at on stage 48. It's a new addition to the studio lot. It's pretty cool what I do. It's like an interactive experience. It's pretty, pretty dope. But, um, yeah. This is a more cool area of the studio. I'm sorry I shake a lot, y'all. You know, I'm trying to get the the art of being still while recording and walking, but yeah, I just can't. Oops. See, can't do this vlogging thing. My hands don't agree with me. Anyways, let me stop recording before, you know, I get in trouble. Bye, y'all. Audience, hello, what's up? Okay, so we're reenacting a scene from Friends. Episode 9, uh, season 9, episode 5. So we also need an audience because a sitcom always has its take in front of a live audience, alright? So this is our new cast of Friends. Now, uh, the sitcom cast and Friends cast, they have a week to learn their lines. But since we just got here, we're going to use two cards, okay? So let me, alright, so I'm, I'm going to play the part of the director. This particular episode is directed by David Schwimmer, who plays Ross. So just follow my cues. I'm going to point to when it's your turn to say your lines. But we're going to do this. Joey, your lines will be in red. Rachel, your lines will be in black. And Ross, yours are in blue, okay? So let's just do a preview. Uh, you have to imagine, Stevie's going to be sitting here, Monica will be sitting here, and then we have Ross, Rachel, and Joey. So this is something to the effect of, oh, I couldn't get reservations for my birthday, we'll have to do Thursday night instead. Upon which Joey will say, and Stevie will respond, so, and oops, you will respond, Then Ross. Then we will write why he is not coming. And then Rachel, now you have some long lines. You have to go through these fast because we will cut fast into it. Okay, so Rachel, you're going to have to be a little faster. Just because she, she will come in very fast to, to respond. Okay? You got that? All right. Hello there. You're going to be our audience. We need an audience who's new cast of friends. All right, we're reenacting a scene from season nine, episode five, as you know, friends were shot here. Um, so we have this brand new cast who's just gone through one rehearsal, and they're using cue cards and background. Ready? Yes? Okay. And action. I'm not supposed to be doing this, you guys. 
because I'm at work, but I love y'all, you know, that's why I'm doing this. But here is my job. If y'all see a customer, let me know. I mean, a guest or my boss, let me know so I don't get in trouble. Batmobile, Batmobile. We put a little, it's a little mess right now, but Harry Potter. Welcome to your first flying lesson. Well, what are you waiting for? Once you've got hold of your broom, I want you to mount it. And grip it tight. On my whistle. Three, two. A lot of the flying sequences and, and dynamic movement sequences are shot using green screen and rig work. If we're working a flying sequence, we'll have the actors on a practical broom rig, and that will allow us to do a certain amount of movement, and we'll program the rig with our animation data so it looks like the actor is steering the broom and he's riding around. Some pretty big rigs where these actors had to climb, clamber up and get onto these brooms and fly around and then we would later add atmosphere and environment behind them. We shot the characters individually from the right, correct camera angles with correct matching lighting to match the background plates that we shot on location. And then the two went together. The end result is it really looks like they're flying through that environment. They were all pretty good at it, all the kids who got up there. And I think it was fun. It was a fun thing to do, and I think that always helps. Takes one, two, and three, they love it. Takes four and five, they're getting a little bit tired and their bottom's probably a bit sore. Be it chafed a little bit after a few <laughs> hours up there, but it works really well.
key visual element that we hadn't expected to get was actually the cape and the way the cape blows in the wind as he drives. We had devised with Lindy Hemming a backpack shape that the cape could fold up into using the, the memory fabric idea from the first film. Originally, every time he rode the bike, we were going to use that backpack shape because we felt that the cape would immediately get caught in the rear tire and pull the rider off. But as Chris and his guys started to test the running of the bike with the costume on, they found that, in fact, it picks up the, the wind right away and it never actually got caught in the wheel. Um, I was delighted about this because I think there's something about the image of the cape flapping riding the bike that really makes it Batman, makes it what it needs to be. And we were able to get stunning footage of the bat pod. Once again, we shot most of it off of the ultimate arms. We were able to swing the camera in front and behind, up and down, all around the bat pod, and really get some stunning footage, particularly under lower whacker again. We photographed most of the bat pod work in IMAX, too. So we had to stay pretty wide because it's long and the IMAX format is tall, and it's just stunning on camera, I think. It's, a, it's just, it's a really sexy machine. For the uh, motorbike part of the chase, we did a lot of footage mounting an IMAX camera to the front of a motorbike. Very unwieldy thing for the, the operator to drive, but we were able to get some, some really great shots following the bat pod and sort of go through the events of the chase with it. I think this kind of action, this kind of chase is most interesting when you're really feeling what the characters are feeling, you're really passing through the action subjectively. Thank you for watching. Please tell your friends, family, enemies. Tell them to come and subscribe to my channel. All right. Thank you. Love you guys. Bye.